Hello, I'm Deathseeker512, and this is my first game tutorial. So, what I hope to accomplish with this is like a cool, ghosty, wispy text effect. So, hit File and New, and I guess make this 800 by 800, which is like the maximum size for, say, like a YouTube logo. Or, no, well, not logo, but like user picture thing that shows up whenever you post comments and stuff so 800 by 800 now what we're first going to do is we're going to type the text you know so for instance like gimp you know I'm pretty sure you all know what that means okay so then size up the text to something that looks good um Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit longer. There. Two games. <laughs> and then, well, I'm going to center it by using the alignment tool and clicking on that and to where these four boxes show up. And then you change it from first item to image and click that button and then that button. And that complete that centers the text in the picture now what we can now what to do from here is you make a new layer and make sure it's transparency and hit OK um, you can zoom in a bit unless if you already had uh, take the paint the airbrush tool and zoom in a bit and make sure that the airbrush is about the same size of the text so like 10 would be great for this so then outline the text and it does not have to be perfect because honestly we're just going to smudge this here in a minute so make the text it's not too complicated outline it yeah And then once this is done, we are going to delete this uh, layer by the text layer by clicking on it and then pressing delete. And what we have left is this like where we outline the text. Well, not outline, but airbrush the text. Then we want to right click on the layer and then merge down. And then you can, well, I uh, preferably do color value invert, and then colors, uh, color to alpha, and make sure make sure it's from white to alpha, and hit OK. And that gives it this color. Then create a new layer, and put it underneath the background, and fill it with a color other than black. So I'm just going to fill it in with red and so it looks like this alright not too complicated stuff then take your smudge tool and probably turn the scale down a bit so I'm just going to use like seven there and then all this nice text isn't going to be so nice here in a second but that's fine so just take it and go a little bit haywire over the text as long as you're on the background layer um, so select the background layer and then go haywire over the text and make sure it looks kinda wispy but the text doesn't exactly touch it, the other text that way say if you want to make each text individually colored you don't have like the fog in the middle also uh, changing color on you <laughs> so then for like these bright areas you can zoom in and just do that you know make it cave in on itself or just go straight down and make it look kinda cool now this text does not have to be readable so honestly, 
just as long as you can see the faint outline of it. Now you can either stop here after you get done with this or you can continue to watch this video and see what I do after this. Um, make both points to each other. And now that that's done, you want to, hmm, okay, so you want to grab the eraser, zoom in on the text, and like whenever you outline, when, use the airbrush on the text, we are going to erase the center of this text but of course we can't use the current brush size so let's make that a little bit smaller I'm using four and going around in the center of the text and so that the layer underneath it shows through and again it does not have to be perfect because some of the best things are not perfect. But you can stop here as well. It kind of gives it like a neon effect with like wisp around it. You can also change the color, which is why I have this layer. Do anything you want. Like if say it doesn't look that good like that, and you want to throw in this color, go ahead. By all means, do it. And it looks like cool like this. So what you can do from here is you can leave it like that, as I said which kind of does the neon with wisp around it or you can use the smudge tool with yeah how it is right like that and smudge it more or let me change that to five wow delete five and then smudge this a little bit Again, make sure you're on the background there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's more like a smoke. Honestly. So, just speeding up here. There. Now that I am done with that, another cool thing you can do is you can take the lasso tool and surround one letter and then use the bucket tool and change that to any color you want say like red as long as you're in the back the this layer then make it red and then you can select another letter and say make it between red and green which is yellow in this case and then you can just keep using the lasso tool for the other color, uh, not other colors, but ah, letters. And then in full green, like so. And it's around the P. 
change it from green to somewhat not yet. It's already that color. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, and then surround this one and make this full blue, for instance. You don't have to make it full blue, but whatever you want. Now, I'm going to show you another cool thing that you can do with this as well. As soon as I show you the other color I was going to do, which is magenta, which is full red and full blue. And then I'm going to surround, surround this last eye and fill that in. And it turns out purple. So you can do that all the way through. Or what you can do is have the layer selected, go over to the blend tool, and you can change the, well, click this. And you have all of these options. You can just mix and match, you know, do whatever you like. Or you can do the full saturation and select none and go from one side and then to the other side and then press control to make sure it's straight and it blends in a rainbow. Of course, you can also mess around with this, make it bilinear, which does it now it shades it like that and then radial which works like that it also depends the vert color in the center will be red and then the outside would also be red also another thing you can do is you can well do any of these spiral and so on the list is as far as this the one that takes a little bit longer to do is the shapes and then taking that for a second one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five and it'll look like that you know from here you can do whatever you feel like it so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. Bye.